Well, hello, everybody. Today, I want to share a little motivation as I spend the day at home um, doing a normal routine, kind of during the holiday season, though. We always start our mornings off very similar. French press coffee, scrambled eggs with some sautéed veggies in it, and our little one just loves it. But there's something about waking up before the sun comes up and it's coming up, getting breakfast, um, especially since my husband heads off to work. But it's just so, so nice to have a routine. And I think that's important for a family and for kids. But after breakfast, it's time to do some dishes. And what better way than listen to some Christmas music. And of course, Little Mannheim Steamroller. I use my cast iron skillet probably several times a day, but I never use soap on it. Um, I do use like a little scraper to get some of the gunk that's stuck on there off of it. And then sometimes I do use a scratch pad as well if it's really gunky and then just dry it with a paper towel. And most of the time I'll put a fresh coating of coconut oil on it. Um, I do need to re-season it. It's been a while, but I love using my cast iron all the time. And then, you know, having a little toddler, as many of you probably know, or parents yourselves or have been, you got to spend some time with them. And she's been really enjoying reading lately. So I just love the time to have with her. Don't you just love my Christmas apron? It was a thrift store find last year, but I think it's so fun. Anyways, I really enjoy my Instant Pot. I use it several times a week, and I just made some chicken bone broth because I'm going to be making a chicken pot pie recipe for you later, and I'm going to use some of this bone broth as well. But if you have an Instant Pot and you don't use it, I recommend you use it more often for so many different things. And then while I was in the kitchen, I needed to feed my sourdough starter because tonight's supper is going to be breakfast food, so we're having sourdough pancakes. So really, um, to be honest, I am sharing two recipes with you that are from Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone, but I love the recipes. Of course, some things I change up myself a little bit just to make it for our family a different way. But um, being a homemaker, you can do that if you have the time in your home you can make recipes to fit what your family likes and I love being able to do that and I love being able to be home to prep and prepare things for other meals and for evenings I know some of you don't have the capability to be home all day but one other thing I really like to do a couple times a week is vacuum. And this is one thing my daughter actually asked me to do. She loves sitting in the chair and watching me vacuum. Um, unfortunately, my good vacuum was having some issues. So I grabbed the vacuum from our basement, which we've had since we lived in a teeny little apartment. But it works. And so I just, you know, did a little cleanup of our rug and floor and you know, if my daughter enjoys it, why not do it? And morning times are the best times for me to get a lot done. So I'm basically doing a lot of this homemaking during the morning. And don't you just love the sun shining through our south window? I just, I love taking that in. Um, but I hadn't vacuumed the couch for a while and we really don't eat on the couch. So crumbs don't happen a lot, but you know, there's still things that get stuck in there or little toys that my daughter somehow had lost in there. <laughs> One thing about being a homemaker with kids too is training. Um, Nevaeh was really helpful and picked up the little pillow for me and her little ornament she plays with. And I just think that's really important is to train our kids when they're young so that they can learn to help and um, just be an assistant to you as well so that you don't have to do everything for them too. But nope, she definitely loves her little rocking horse and loves vacuuming and, you know, it's fun. It's special time that we get to have to be home together.
a lot of these tasks I am sharing with you are daily or every other day. Um, laundry seems to definitely pile up and it's nice to be able to do it on the bed in our bedroom. That way it's just so much quicker to put it away too than just in the living room. But of course my little one likes to just sit and watch me do laundry. Um, sometimes she'll play or help with the laundry but not today but i just think that's something that a homemaker can do like i said is incorporate having their kids around them while they do it um and just keep up on a little simple tasks like doing laundry don't let it pile up do it daily do it after work when you get home throw a load in before you go to work just make it work for your lifestyle Okay, now it is time to really prep for lunch. Like I said, we are having a chicken pot pie and I just peeled and chopped up three potatoes. I didn't end up using all the potato because it was quite a bit to put in my cast iron. Um, and then I had pre-chopped the night before because I knew what I was gonna make, some of the other cut vegetables. I'll link the recipe in the description box for you or any of the recipes that I really made for you so you can have them to go to but I just put some olive oil in there and then um, used my chicken broth that I had made obviously earlier and got that simmering and season it now you can really season it to taste what you want but I added a bunch of parsley and plenty of salt so using homemade chicken broth it's not quite as salty now on the biscuits I'm using, it's a whole different recipe. Um, Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone does sourdough biscuits, but I'm using a yogurt-based biscuit, actually. They turn out really well, and I really like it. It's a little healthier. So really, this chicken pot pie is not... It seems dense, but it's really not. So I just mix that up and um, yeah, we'll put that on top. And I love being able to be home to make nicer lunches than I usually do uh, if I was at work because my husband would usually come home and just grab leftovers but it's fun to make something special for him when he comes home. Something else I've learned is you have to taste as you go along because you have to have flavor in food. <laughs> Anyways, this recipe called for half and half. I didn't have it so I used some of my whole milk because it's supposed to be a creamier um, chicken pot pie and I thought that worked just fine and of course put all the biscuits on there and then you bake it I think it was 450 for 15 minutes or until when you pull the biscuits out they're golden brown and it is just such a delicious healthy recipe and I really didn't have a side to serve with it much either um just some fruit but doesn't that look, look just gorgeous and delicious and my little girl loves it and I'm just getting her dish all plated here I want to share a couple cookie recipes I have this is a frosted butterscotch cookie and I just made them into little Christmas trees and I'm gonna make the frosting here while my daughter sleeps my husband really liked them plain he just said they have a very um, neutral flavor and then here is a rosemary shortbread I never thought I'd really like it but it is so good having the herb in there I made them smaller the ones I'll give away are smaller um, and shortbread lasts so long like up to a week um, they are very very good so I'll share those two recipes one thing I've realized um, now being a stay-at-home mom is I have time to do some of these more fun cookies usually I would do the more simple ones that don't require a lot of cutting out and frosting but these are fun to try because I've never made the um, shortbread or the butterscotch frosted cookie and it was just really fun to do and I really enjoy sharing treats with people and I think that's part of being a homemaker is sharing what you get to make and what you do. But no, I had a lot of fun frosting them and I thought they just turned out really cute. Wow, 
now again i am back in the kitchen and that's one thing i realized being a homemaker i am in the kitchen a lot so i'm making the sourdough pancake recipe and like i said i'll link that in the description box for you but yes with homemaking you often are if you are trying to hone in on your skill in the kitchen you are in the kitchen more or if you are working on like, sewing or something, you're probably in that area more. But truly, it's something I love is being in the kitchen and serving my family that way with making delicious food. Honestly, the pancakes are really simple, but I'm just adding some chocolate chips to some of my husband and mine as well. But these are so delicious and it makes a ton of pancakes and we really do like pancakes in our house. So I want to show you the aftermath of our pancakes. It's like stacked this high. I thawed some blueberries with peanut butter, some apple butter, honey, yogurt. What else did we put on it? Oh, that was about it. But yep, we do like our pancakes here in this house. I do like to wipe down most surfaces after the day is done in the kitchen. Um, and of course the stove is the area I use quite often, but I'm just, also getting some hot water ready to make some of my red raspberry leaf tea um if you didn't watch my last video i did announce we are expecting another one and at the second trimester i start drinking this tea um, to help with pregnancy things anyways i also did have a bible study this night um, we meet with several ladies in our church and we are studying a wonderful series about advent and i just think what a time, what a year to be studying about what Christmas is really about. And I think it's so wonderful to be doing this study. And I really think it's just, it's been so fruitful for us. And I hope that this video did offer you some encouragement and motivation as you are homemaking for this holiday season.